everyone. Welcome to another quick little episode here at uh, Six and a Half Consulting. Uh, every day, uh, usually four or five times a week at least, I go to the gym. It, it's not something that I love to do, but I do love how I feel after I go to the gym. But uh, one of the reasons I go particularly to the gym that I go to, my local YMCA, is because there's a guy named there by the name of Robert. No, not for that reason. But because Robert, every time he sees me, he's the janitor, Every time he sees me, he stops what he's doing, whether he's cleaning or mopping up a spill or polishing something or putting away towels, whatever it is, he stops what he's doing and he says, hi, Casey, how are you? And he starts talking to me and and engaging with me. He doesn't do that for just me. He does that for absolutely every member at the YMCA. He knows everyone's name and he makes every single person feel like they're important, at least for five or 10 seconds. And I asked him the other day, you know, why does he do that? And he goes, well, listen, you know, I'm just a janitor. I'm kind of at the low end of the totem pole, and most people don't really care about janitors. But what I find, he says, is that whenever I go out of my way to be courteous to someone, they're courteous back to me, and that makes me feel like I'm important. It makes me feel like my job's important. And so it's a circle, he said. I, I'm nice and kind, and then people are kind back to me. From a client's perspective or customer's perspective, you know, The gym is really nice and they've got good amenities. But the thing that is most memorable for me is my experience with Robert. And I wonder how much the YMCA really knows that the reason I keep coming back is because of Robert. So I started thinking about that and how it relates to corporate America and how oftentimes there's this disconnect between C-level executives and kind of the frontline people. Frontline people who are often dismissed or disregarded, certainly underpaid, um, not trusted, but ultimately they're the ones that have the face-to-face interaction with the clients or vendors. They're the ones that build the reputation of the company most oftentimes, and yet they're the ones that are, are so often unappreciated. I don't think it's good that Robert says that he's at the bottom of the totem pole either, and lots of organizations talk that way. They speak as though that there's this organizational chart where the people on top are better. I don't think that's true. What I think is that uh, people like Robert, the front line people, really are the foundations of what a company should be. And indeed, if we treated our front line people like real people, treated them with dignity and respect and honored the jobs that they did, our customers would come back more. I know I certainly come back more only because Robert treats me well. And that's a good lesson I think that corporate America can learn, is the better we treat our employees, the better we make them feel like people, the more humanity we see in them, the more they're going to see that in other people. And the more they're going to respect working for the organization that they work for, the better your clients are going to feel, the better your customers are going to feel. And ultimately, just like me, they'll keep coming back. So thanks, Robert. Thanks for being a really awesome janitor. Thanks for making my experience at the YMCA totally, totally great. We need more people like you.